Hi guys, welcome back to another stealth camping video. Uh, you may notice this time I'm not in the woods, I'm in the urban sprawl, if you could call it that. Um, so I'm currently on my way to my first kind of, I don't know, like highly jeopardous, jeopardous? Is jeopardous a word? Oh whatever, you know what I mean anyway. Uh, a spot that requires a certain amount of jeopardy, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, so basically there's a grass embankment between both sides of the road with some trees there. I've been going past it for a while now and I thought well, that's the spot. So let me show you where it is. Basically the bit, hopefully the traffic noise isn't too bad. Um, so got all this whole tree line and it goes on, goes down for quite a bit. Um, so I feel like I could probably just get on in the middle here. But we'll maybe go over there first and scoop it out. But I'm hoping somewhere in the middle of these trees will be somewhere good to set up camp. Yeah, so I feel like there's a there's a gap there and I could just casually just walk up there and just get in. Um, but while I'm here, I might as well have a look at this thing. I have lived in this town for a long time and I have not once looked at this. Towards tomorrow, because the traffic stops on this side of the roundabout, if I walk along the hard shoulder, I could probably sprint across. No one no would know I've gone in. Whereas if I go in in this bit, Someone will definitely see me. Also, it's a very attractive flower bed they've put in there, isn't it? Hmm, I feel like there's a good spot right in there. But I might go along the. Uh... Oh, there's someone here. Of course there is. Of course there is. Of course, someone would be parked there. Ah, oh, for God's sake. Well, I'll walk along there anyway and see. When I look in there, it looks like there's be plenty of places. You know what I mean? It would be even better if this uh, car wasn't behind me on the hard shoulder because uh, they're definitely going to see me sprint across the road. <laughs> okay, there's still lots more bits I can go into, but I'm coming up to the area where the trees are starting to get a bit thin. This is just there. But unfortunately, that red car is still sitting there. And that red car is definitely going to see me do this. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I don't know, I might just have to wait until the red car goes, or go in that top bit that I saw first, uh, that I saw the first time. Oh, so annoying. It's even more annoying because there's so many brakes in traffic, I, I could easily just run across. Ah, bloody hell. person has been sitting there for about 20 minutes now <laughs> so new plan <laughs> I'm gonna cross over further down and then go back up the other side and hope I can get across there somewhere oh. okay so now I'm basically going up and over to the other side <laughs> all because one person is illegally parked on the hard shoulder and just sitting in their car doing nothing Apart from ruining my day. I have no right to be annoyed at this person, but I am annoyed at this person. The plan is pretty much the same on this side of the road. Wait for a break in traffic, then run across. Okay, I'm where I need to be. I just need to suspiciously stand around and hope for a break in the cars. <laughs> it's been so long. It's been about 10 minutes since I last recorded and I still haven't got a break in traffic to get across. This is such a nightmare! What I might do, now that you've pretty much been around that entire circle, is go back to where I started. 
because surely that car cannot still be there surely i know this sounds like i'm setting it up for it to be there but i mean it's been like half an hour now surely it's not still there the car is still there it's still there i'm thinking because i'm right outside this middle bit i might just confidently just walk towards the trees and just hope for the best i'm very aware of how immensely suspicious i'm being just standing here right in the middle of a roundabout waiting for a break in traffic but i might just start walking you know what yeah i'm just gonna start walking i'm just gonna start walking with my camera out looking like a maniac in to the trees completely ignoring anyone that's behind me and we are in <laughs> so this is the view i have right now i'm frighteningly obvious <laughs> and then there's that bloody red car um so i'm gonna walk along this tree line it seemed a bit thicker down there and then hopefully i'll get a good spot I'm also trying to be aware of this red car with these people in it. I mean, they have nothing to look at, so they probably will look towards the tree line every so often. And they'll just be like, hey, there's that guy in the burgundy hoodie that was giving us evil stares. <laughs> now he's in the trees. What a weirdo. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just a wildlife photographer. Oh. Even like here is pretty good. I mean, no one can really see me here. Apart from the red bloody car. Okay, I kind of like where I am now. It's a nice mix of exposed and hidden away. But I've, got, I've took the bag off. I don't want to go down here and see if there's anywhere a bit better. There's actually a lot of good spots in here. Um, I'm further along the tree line now. I mean, where I'm standing is pretty good. There's some spots in the slightly longer grass. It's pretty spongy, but then I don't know if camping in long grass is a good idea. I mean, you know, for like ticks and stuff. I don't know if that's really stupid, what I've just said. But you know, ticks are bad, right? <laughs> this is where someone in the comments is like, you don't get ticks in that kind of grass, you have moron. But uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep walking along until I run out of trees and then I'll see where the best spot is. And I know you're all dying to know, but the red car is still there. I am gonna see that red car in my nightmares. Okay, I think I know which bit I'm gonna to go to. Uh, I just need to go back and get my bag and try and go when there's a break in the traffic. Oh, it isn't now. Now, 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 now. Uh. And yes, the red car is indeed still there. There's me bag. Just where I left it. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting. I don't think anyone else is going to be stealth camping in here tonight. You know what? I think I'm going to set up right here where I put my bag. Because, yes, it's probably more risky than it should be. And yes, people can see me from both sides, but there's loads of natural light. And you know what, sod it. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna try and do is block off this line of sight a little bit. Um, I have that really thin camo netting. So I'll try and drape that somewhere behind me. It doesn't look like much there, but I think from the other side that'll look pretty good. In fact, let's just have a quick look now while we can. Just gonna wait here a second. Okay, no one's gonna look back. Let's have a quick look what that looks like from distance. I hope no one really looks this way. I mean, obviously we're really close, but I think from distance that'll look pretty good. So I feel like right now I'm pretty well covered. Um, from where I originally came in, the roundabout would be like here. So obviously no one can see me here. 
people could technically see me if they drive by and crane their neck while they're driving they might catch a glimpse of me through the trees but seems pretty unlikely can't see anything there can't really see anything through here and then on this side i have the camo netting uh well i say netting it's not netting but you know what i mean um that's the only bit that's open and now i've got that over it the rest of it there's a little bit of tree cover here and there so i think i'm going to be okay so i guess now i'll get the tent and everything set up okay we finally got set up that took longer than i thought um so there we go um it wasn't helped by the fact that the bloody red car that's over there the people got out and started walking around but yeah so here we are here we're set up um just in the low profile tent today so yeah not too bad oh actually <laughs> I think I found out the reason why these people have been sitting here so long. Let me just do a little sneaky sneaky. The reason they've been sitting here all this time is because they've got a flat tire. <laughs> so I take back everything I said. <laughs> Stupid people getting flat tires and I'm trying to stealth camp. Don't you know who I am? So once these once these guys have gone, I'll um Maybe nip out in a break in traffic and have a walk around and we'll see just how uh, inconspicuous I hope we are. Okay, so I think I actually think the red car is gone. I don't believe it. Anyway. Okay, I'm gonna come out of here quickly. And then find a break in the traffic. And then assess how good the spot is. But I do think I went this way. <laughs> okay, I've got myself back onto the road. And I'm just gonna walk. See if I can see where my camo tarp is. The camo tarp is slowly, slowly zoom. Now, because I know it's there, I can see it, but it's literally on the tip of my blurry finger, just there. That blends in really well. I'm basically next to that broken tree and you cannot see me there at all. I was gonna try and wait for a break in the traffic but I might just run across again, I don't know. In fact, that's what we'll do. Okay, I've definitely seen that. <laughs> okay, I've got pretty much everything ready to go. As for equipment, nothing's really changed. It's pretty much everything you see here um the only difference is i've got a bigger pot uh, an extra larger pot to cook with because what i'm cooking tonight will require that but we'll get to that when we get to that so uh now i think i'm gonna have a bit of a relax and have a little cup of coffee because that's what i always do so i thought i'd come around this side just to make my coffee so the tent's over there and i'm sitting next to my lovely camo netting and that is what's happening. That's hot. dinner on soon but before I do um, I just want to thank everybody who has subscribed um, 
and commented. I have got way more comments and way more subscribers than I thought I would have at this stage. I mean, I didn't really have any expectations, but um, yeah, it's going a lot better than I imagined. So I really appreciate all your comments. Um, yeah, thanks so much, guys. Um, it's good motivation to keep going, I guess. Um, it's good because um, when I talk to some people about doing this, they're like, uh huh. So when are you checking yourself into hospital? <laughs> but um, it's good that there's a community out there that kind of get it and uh, make me feel not quite so mentally ill. And uh, the other thing I wanted to say is, um, I don't know if it if it will be on camera or not, but you might notice I'm kind of moaning and groaning a lot more. Um, I actually took part in the Belfast Marathon on Sunday. Uh, this is a few days after that now, and I do feel better. But my knees and my back are just still kind of sore because I'm not particularly fit and I'm not going to go into it but I didn't do a very good time but I got it done and I'm still a bit sore so yeah so if you notice me kind of going Ugh! when I'm doing things that's why and I apologize um, I probably picked the worst tent for that then really didn't I because this tent is so low to the floor so um, I'm sure I'll be waking up with uh, severe back pain but sure but enough of that, um, how about we make some dinner? Okay, it is dinner time. So, for dinner we have sunflower oil spray, garden peas, dehydrated potato, mmm, a packet of sausages that I had to cling film because they were ripped in the shop. And of course the faithful Pepsi Max. I'm not going to throw that one. And last but not least, a sandwich bag filled with gravy granules. Mmm. So I kind of thought to myself, because I'm self properly self camping in the middle of two major roads, I thought I'm not going to be able to do a lot or see a lot. So I thought, why not make a more exciting dinner? So I thought, why not make a UK favorite bangers and mash? So that's what I'm doing. Let's just lube this thing up with some of this. So this pan pretty much just burns the living crap out of the edges and then all the oil burns off, which is really weird. And it's also generating a lot more smoke than I would like. <laughs> So I've cut all the sausages in half because they're not cooking in the middle, but they're burning horrendously. I do not know why. Like, the gas isn't even up very high at all. I know I say this every video, but I really can cook. <laughs> but when I go out in the wilderness, well, if you can call this wilderness, I just lose all my skills. <laughs> okay, so I've boiled some water. Oh, it actually smells okay. Oh, yeah, that probably is enough. And you know what? That actually looks okay. Mmm. That tastes surprisingly not awful. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing I have to do is gravy. But I'm gonna do it in the little pot that I've been boiling water in for coffee. So then the water's boiled from a gravy, so now I'm just gonna... <sighs> Dump that in. Hope that wasn't too much water. <laughs> so we've got gravy, potatoes, incredibly burnt sausages. Now just need to combine all three. Yes, it does look pretty awful. <laughs> Sausages kind of taste like 
You know when you go to a relative's barbecue and they're the relative, they always burn everything because they think they're going to poison you if they don't. It's kind of what the sausages taste like. But, it's not too bad. I just realised something. I finished my dinner and I forgot the peas. I know exactly whose fault this is. That woman in the red car. She's also to blame for the sausages burning and anything else that goes wrong between now and probably next week. I'm not bitter. I'm not bitter at all. What I thought. Now they're all done with dinner. Oh shit. Get down here for a second. Didn't see that person. <laughs> Funny thing is, because this is the middle of the central reservation, no one really looks this way. So she could have easily have seen me there, but because, you know, why would you look here? I get away with that, so that was good. Anyway, as I was saying, now that I've finished dinner, why don't we go for a little adventure? I'm gonna take my Pepsi, and we're gonna see how far we can actually get along this tree line until we have to stop. My knees didn't like that. Don't really see a way through, so I guess I'm going under here. Oh. Oh, I guess I'm going this way. Oh. oh, Craig, why did you have to do a marathon? Oh my god. I think I'm actually getting near to the end of this. What is that? What the hell? Oh yeah, we're definitely towards the end. This is the bit where the trees started, uh, this is the bit where the trees start getting very thin. But unfortunately, there's some other people here that have just left all their crap behind. Imagine going to the effort of tying the bag and then leaving everything in there. It's just full of baked beans. God, did they eat all those? I'd hate to have seen their toilet after that. Yeah, that's enough of that. Let's get back to the relative safety of the tent. Ooh. Hello, I'm just lying inside for a minute. Well, I'm not quite inside, my feet are outside. I'm just sort of lying down for a bit. Oh, my back was so sore. I think because I was traipsing through all the uh, bushes and trees to get to the other end. But I was squatting down a lot of it and I'm just like, oh, my back. So, uh, yeah, just having me lie down for a bit. And then we will probably make a cup of tea and then have a look at what snacks we have. So yeah, time to see what snacks we have. We'll be pleased to know normal order has been resumed. And the squashies are back. Oh. Oh. We can't beat these things. Oh, oh, oh. The other thing I got was this. Milka Oreo. It's a bit different. This is actually from Poland, so you can't normally get it here. So let's see what this is like. And there's like Oreo in the middle of it. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. So I think it might be quite a good night. I don't think it's going to rain or anything. Um, hey Siri, is it going to rain tonight? It doesn't look like it's going to rain. Well, even better. I brought a tarp with me that I was just going to sling over the top, but now that it's apparently not going to rain, I'm going to take the chance and not bother. So I'm just going to have a little sit down, wait for it to get a bit darker, and then I will get myself into the tent and relax for the evening. But for now, I'll just root my tea.
this isn't ideal. <laughs> Why are people always stopping here? Unfortunately, I had stood up, so now I'm sort of awkwardly just bending down. I thought it was a red car, now it's a blue car. Phew, God, what is it with the cars today? Oh yeah, this is good. Nothing like the sound of constant traffic to uh, lull you to sleep later. But uh, no, it's not too bad actually. I can hear some birds. So it's kind of relaxing. But yeah, so I'm just going to watch a podcast here, eat some snacks. So I'm sitting here just trying, trying to enjoy my podcast. And that's someone else has stopped over there. There's the red car, the blue car, and now a white van. Like, what is going on? I'm going to keep my head down. I'm quite low, so it should be okay. But still. Yeah, he's gone. Okay, you'll have to ignore the very red light. I've put my thumb over the regular torch just to keep it down a bit. I had to get out of the tent because I took major cramp in my calf. Uh, I was lying there and I was just like, oh my god. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna, now that I'm out, I'm gonna, I've had a little walk around and I feel better. So I'm gonna have a cup of tea just to warm up because it's getting very cold. And then I am gonna retire for the night, I think. Okay guys, that's me all cozy in the tent. So I am gonna bid you good night. Uh, sorry I didn't show that much in the evening, but obviously because I'm in the middle of a dual carriage ride, I have to be very, very careful about the light and what I'm doing. So sorry about that. But I will catch you in the morning where we were having something interesting for breakfast. I say interesting, it'll probably be a disappointment like the sausages, let's be honest. The way my cooking seems to be going these days. But anyway, I shall see you in the morning, guys. If anything interesting happens, I'll be sure to pick up the camera. But until then, good night. Ah, good morning guys. Sorry about the potato angle again. Um, God, it's so bright. Um, I think I slept okay. I woke up about half five to a blaring truck horn. So I feel like someone must have cut the lorry up on the roundabout. But apart from that, I think I slept okay. I uh, don't think it rained. I can't really feel it yet, but it doesn't feel like it rained. I don't know, I don't remember hearing any rain, so that's something. But let's get up because I gotta pee and then I'll put some coffee on. Well, I've got my coffee on, I've had a pee, I feel a bit better. Um, so I'm gonna start making some breakfast in a minute. So, for breakfast, I've got the um, thing I always fall back on, which is the golden syrup porridge pot. But I saw this, now, this is actually in the freezer aisle, so I'm gonna have to like try and fry it. But this, it's a rip-off McMuffin. <laughs> So I don't know what this is going to be like, but uh, yeah, I guess we'll see. It reminds me of one of those things that's like got 3% pork in it. So let's just it. Oh, they're actually 78% pork. That's actually a lot higher 
than I thought it was going to be. But yeah, let's give these a blast. Yeah, it's basically like a deconstructed McMuffin. Got my duplicate McMuffin. I've got my lovely view of a roundabout. What more would you want? Actually, it looks reasonable enough. Okay. It tastes like a like a three out of ten McMuffin. I mean, I could just walk like five minutes that way and get a real McMuffin, but this will do. I've had my coffee. I've had my breakfast and all that jazz. Now I think it's time to start tearing all of this down. My least favorite bit. Okay, I am all packed away. Oh no, wait. No, I'm not. Hang on. Okay, now I'm packed away. Everything in the bag. Just making sure I haven't left anything. Yeah, I think I'm all good. All that's left is a nice trampled dry bit of grass. Okay, let's get out of here. We made it out. Now it's time to walk home. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. Um, if you liked it, be sure to subscribe and all that crap that everyone says, I'll put that about here. And then I will see you next time.